All right, this is the first step you need to do is you need to um, take a flash drive or thumb drive or whatever you call it and you need to go to your system after you plug it in your Xbox. You need to go down to storage, memory, and then you need to go um, configure now or customize. You can customize if you have over like two gigs, but if you don't, I recommend just go ahead and make the whole thumb drive. Make sure you don't have no data on the thumb drive that you want to keep because it's going to format it and make it where it's a US like it's a um, storage device for the Xbox 360 you need this in order to game save it's the easiest way and the cheapest way to do it unless you want to get into transfer cables or anything like that if you're interested in stuff like that just look up further advanced videos on YouTube about how to game save on the Xbox 360 is the best thing I can tell you but alright this takes a few minutes in the description I'm going to have a link to WinRAR, Modio and the two saves that I'm using for Skyrim to do this you can do this with any game or gamer score cheats and stuff like that. I have two links to two really good websites that I use personally myself that I find very, very, very helpful in um, game saves and stuff. They have all kinds of stuff you can go through. They'll be in the description and they're free to join as well. Okay, so this is, okay, it's just done. Just ignore that. Okay, I don't know what's going on. All right. So now you need to go get your, um, see so you have nothing on the device, okay, you need to go where your, um, your game save's located, that you want to, you need a, you need the game, one game save, or what you're trying, game you're trying to do, like if it's just, we're using Skyrim for instance, so I need to get a Skyrim save, and you need your, um, profile, but right now I'm going to get my Skyrim save, go right here, it's located right here, just, it doesn't matter which one you copy, also make sure you copy it's always safe to have a backup of your save in case you mess up on something I don't want to be held responsible for that if you mess up one of your saves it's on you if you don't know how to back up then you'll, you'll learn your lesson from this okay now you need your gamer profile on the device too you really don't have to it just makes the task a lot easier I'll explain further later on in the video alright now that that's move over basically all you have to do from here is you just have to sign out of your account and take your thumb drive and plug it into your uh, PC and that's basically all you need. Make sure you have downloaded WinRAR, Modio. Those are the main two that you need, or the save games that you want. But mostly, you need you're gonna need WinRAR and you're gonna need Modio. All right, this is the second part. Um, after you've unplugged in your thumb drive, you're gonna need Modio. You're gonna need the save game that you downloaded. This is Save Prisoner. I got a video on both of these, and this is Executioner. This is the reason you're gonna need WinRAR because most saves come into a WinRAR package, and you're gonna need to extract them. You need to create a folder and you need to call it backup. The reason for this is to back up your saves. If you don't do this, it's your own fault. That's all I got to say. See, the new folder is the one that's my backup. Okay, you need to run Modio's an administrator. Okay, this is what Modio looks like. You don't have to register or anything to use Modio for what we're using it for. We're using it for a save editing, uh, the copy saves. Basically, you just need to explore device. You go to file, open, you go to content. Eggy Yapper is the profile right here. If you had more than one, it'll all be down the line right there. And Skyrim's the save folder where the game's located. You need to hit down there on that and you need to click on the game save area. And there's our save five that was on the thing. You need to drag that over. Now, minimize this. You don't have to exit out of that. You need to copy this. Always do this when you take a save off and you need to paste it in your backup folder. That way you always have a backup of your save. But basically what we're going to try to do now, you can hit open a save. Go to desktop where it's located and you can hit open save prisoner 5 uh, but you don't want to do it like that the easiest way to do it I find is just to drag and drop it but basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get these IDs right here and you're trying to put them on a new save so you need to cut paste both IDs onto a notebook text or whatever you prefer to use and you're not going to need this anymore so you can um, just move that out of the way or delete it because I have it backed up in case something goes wrong okay this is the save this is basically what we're going to try to do you see where the IDs are like zero E zero zero zero. You're basically trying to put your IDs right there. So paste, copy, paste. All right, and you hit rehash, resign after you're done, and then the save's yours. All you gotta do is put it back on the device. Now, in order to do that, you just go right back up here where you took the save off. That's why I told you not to minimize it. I meant exit it and drag and drop. That save is now on your device. You can now use that save for your own. Okay then you ain't gonna need that no more alright this is where in case you get a save I didn't mean to exit out of that by the way like executioner for instance you're gonna have to extract it to your desktop okay then you're gonna hit open 
and you're just going to need to save. That's the readme file. It's like whoever creates it. Most people do that shit. You just want to hit right click, cut, because you ain't going to need it in this folder no more. And you just want to paste it outside the folder. Sorry about if I'm going too fast. You feel more free to message me on YouTube if you need help. All right. Now you want to drag and drop in here. Instead of doing the copy and paste thing like we were doing before, I can teach you a new trick. And if you're just going to keep doing this, you hit edit ID set. It's what you're going to hit right here. Oh, sorry. Once you hit edit ID set, you want to name the gamer tag that you're using or whatever your name is. Eggy Gapper, for instance. You want to paste both the IDs in there. Copy, paste. That way you don't have to ever look up your IDs again. You don't have to go through that first part anymore. You can just roll with it. I uh, gotta delete all these zeros. Alright, and you want to hit paste. And you just hit save. I'll show you the purpose of this in a second. This is the reason I told you this earlier. You want to hit save. Make stuff a lot quicker. Don't let this confuse you. If it does, just ignore this part then. Okay, for instance, I'm going to delete all this stuff and get it out of my way. Because we don't need it no more. Alright. You see the save 228, the executioner save, you drag and drop it in there. You hit this down arrow and you hit eggy yapper. And then you just have to hit rehash and resign. Saves you a lot of trouble and effort. Gets all that BS out of the way. Alright, that's basically it. You just can file, open, content, eggy yapper, Skyrim, save game. And then you want to drag this new save into here. This is the executioner save, by the way. Now, basically all you have to do from this point on is to make sure you just plug your thumb drive back in your xbox and roll just load up the saves and they'll be good remember make sure you rehash and resign now we're going back to the xbox to make sure everything works guys alright thank you alright now the easiest way to make sure it works is if you plug it back in and you sign in your profile you go to system storage and then you go back down the thumb drive you had and you want to make sure your profile is good and you want to make sure your saves there both of the saves are there, so everything's working out great. They don't say corrupt or anything. You can see they say eggy yapper now. So now you just want to load up the saves and make sure they work. We're going to do the executioner because the other save is a save where you start off at the beginning where you can pick your race and stuff still. You get all the Daytrick armor and Daytrick arrows. Both of these saves will be included in the description. And all your skills will be maxed out with infinite perks. The executioner saves where you play as the executioner where it really doesn't matter. You can take his clothes and stuff off. It won't affect anything. It's just it's basically the same save, but you're just playing as the executioner. I'm just gonna load this up. At the end of the video, I will have a video on up on how to get um let's see, uh how to mod Skyrim yourself one hundred percent. If you're interested in it, just click on the video and it'll go up, alright? So you make sure you select your thumb drive right here. You want to hit load, and you can see both the saves are right there. 228 and 79. They weren't there before, so you know this works. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to message my YouTube channel. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to actually edit your saves. If you're interested in that, click on the video. I'm just going to load up the save real quick. I'm going to do um, 228 because you're playing as the executioner, and you're already past the edit race and all that shit. And I don't have to sit there and sit through that and drag on this video about another t like four minutes. Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry about the low time, by the way. On both saves, you have infinite magic and all that other stuff, too, as well. Please give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, I really work hard to make of all these videos. I put a lot of time into it. As you can see, you're the executioner. Looks really badass. You can take all his clothes and stuff off if you want. He's got um, the badass axe and he's got the um, the ring that turns you into werewolf. That's about all the items he has that are special. All the skills are like high, but they can still go high. They're like the actual default level 20. So you can get all your skills up to 100 by yourself if you want. And all your perks are unlocked on the executioner. This is the save that I would recommend using because it's just badass altogether. Like I said, just have fun with it. That's basically all it is. Um, like I said, at the end of the video, there will be a video on how to actually edit your own save that you currently are working on. And if you're interested in that, just click on that. Thank you, YouTube. Peace out. So now you want to put the save in your, for your, where your Skyrim saves are located. Minimize audio. Don't exit out of it.
Alright, your saves are located in computer, local C, users, name of your user account, my documents, my games, Skyrim, and that's where your saves are located. Drag and drop this into there. Now, now the save's ready to load. Alright, you exit out of it, or minimize it, just minimize it, so you have to come right back to it in case you don't have